Hi there, welcome back to the channel. We're actually back with uh, part two of the optimization video that we did last time. Um, well, we, we found an issue. Um, I was chatting with um, a guy on uh, Telegram and I actually let him pronounce his own name. So here we go. It's Punyapal. Punyapal, all right. So Punyapal and I, uh, we discovered an issue. Actually, he did. Um, I optimized the query with an offset and a limit and I increased the offset every time um, and that actually didn't work as I expected. In the background a lot of things were happening so let's dive into it and we'll see what happens. Alright so I have the exact same code as before and we're actually having the uh, debug bar enabled at this moment. So. As you can see, if I scroll down in at the bottom here, the models that have been loaded changed from 20 to 30 to 40 and so on. So indeed, we're loading more models than expected. Even though the select query that we created um, is select everything from users with limit of 10, offset 30, scroll down, offset 40. But as you can see, the query that has been ran before this is actually uh, select everything from users where users ID in and a bunch of IDs, which is something under the hood of Livewire. And it's in features, support models, eloquent collection synth. And let's dive into that code. And it's actually this thing right here at line 70. Um, and it's in the hydration functions, function hydrates of the data of the, uh, yeah, the, the live wire component, right? So, and it states here, um, we are using Laravel's method here for restoring the collection, which ensures that all models in the collection are restored in one query, preventing the n plus one issue, and also only restores models that exist. So it's a clever way of, of hydrating the data um, for instance, that if one of them is deleted in the meanwhile or, or something like that. But um, yeah, it, it generates uh, a lot more models being loaded, an extra query and so on. So I tried to fix that with, with an array. Um, so let's open up user list number two. Um, instead of uh, just going to open up number one, that's the one we did before with um, an array, uh, sorry, a collection merge here. Um, in user list number two, uh, we're doing this with a two array and we're pushing that array towards the component of blade file. Um, this is actually doing the, the trick, but I don't like arrays uh, in my views. I like to use, yeah, uh, collections. So if we scroll down, this is actually working. Only this uh, small query, which, um, yeah, grabs another set of 10 users is being executed. Uh, you can see that only 10 models are loaded each time. And this is where Punjapal came in. I hope I don't butcher his name. This is where Punjapal came in with a solution that uh, was quite interesting. Um, so he had this mount function where he um, set the load more, which is a boolean, and then an offset, and he renders this out to the blade view file. Sorry, the blade component file. And in here, the only issue that we have here is that the table will be rendered every time. But yeah, you can fix that with pushing the table uh, outside of your component and only put the table rows for each in the component. And that should do the trick also. But um, this is interesting here because he is actually loading the same component again in this component view. Um, so yeah, that's quite interesting with a set of a load more to false. And whenever the button is hit load more, he sets that to true, which actually triggers the mount function to re-render stuff in here. So let's, let let's test it out. Right. Um, so comment this one out, comment this one in refresh and he did it with a little more button, but we can also do that with, um, yeah, infinite, uh, scroll a little more. And as you can see, only 10 models loaded and the query is exactly the same of the array one. But in this case, we're only using a collection 
on the view side and not an array. So I like Punjapal's approach here with using a collection in the view side of the component instead of an array. Um, but I, I read this over at um, the Laracasts forum where Snappy here, Snappy, yeah, Snappy, uh, actually states that whenever you're doing such kind of things, um, just let the DOM diffing of Livewire take that into account and just let it handle it itself. Um, and for much larger data sets, yeah, just use just use pagination or something. Um, so whenever you're you're dealing with dot data sets that are uh, very large, like two thousand or three or four thousand users or posts or or products or whatever, use pagination with a filtering or with a search uh, or or something like that. Uh, I don't think that um, load more buttons or infinite scrolls are made for those kind of approaches. So, but if you have other thoughts about that hit hit the comments down below and we'll get into the conversation you can also join the conversation up on um, telegram i will put the link in the show notes show notes no in the in the description down below um, and like and subscribe and see you in the next video take care bye bye